right, we're ready for day 15 of Force Fetch with Gleasel. You can probably see that we've moved back into the house today just because of my schedule. You know, I was gone from the house all day between work and coaching basketball, so just got home late. But it is important that we keep moving on. There are still some really cool new things that I can introduce to her in the house so that she feels like she's still getting fresh new challenges all the time and that we're still learning something new every single day. It's more important for you to keep training every single day as you work through Force Fetch um, than it is to always be taking big steps towards new things outside. Clearly, Liesl's pretty relaxed. This is almost bedtime for her, uh, but we'll get started. So the things that she's been struggling on most outside are still that back command. So that's something we can easily work on in the house, so we'll do that. Also, we haven't introduced her yet to antlers, and I think it's a fun thing. We don't ever get to use them in the German testing system, but most folks have a desire for their dogs to pick up antlers while they're hunting in addition to game. So we'll introduce those as well. So Liesl, you ready to start? Come here. All right, sit. So we're gonna treat an antler just like we would a new piece of game. So we're gonna start with something very easy. We're just having her take it from my hand. I even try to hold it so that they're getting like the meat of the beam there. It's just easier for them to hold than grabbing one of the tines. Ready? So I've picked a, just a small to medium sized shed here. Fetch. Good. It is a lot harder for them to grip, but I'm not going to correct her for that. She was trying to do the right thing. Good girl. Drop. Good. Oh, I just realized I forgot my cheese. Lisa, come here. And we're back, fully prepared to dog train this time. So we'll just repeat that. I'll make it a little harder because she did already do it once. Ready? Catch. Yes, good girl. Good. Good. Drop. Good girl. It's very nice. Heel. Sit. So we'll extend the distance. Stay. And when I set it down, I'll try to set it down like this so that it's much easier again for her to grab it. We'll make it harder later. Good girl. Good, good dog. Drop. All right, now we're gonna incorporate the antler into the other training that she really needs. Sit, stay. Right here, come here. Sit, you need to work on that back command. Ready? Till they're looking at me to give the treat or to take the game. Drop. Good girl. Good. Yes. Good. All right. I'm going to just space this out a little more equidistant so that she's sitting right here. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. She's sitting here. I'll try to get further away. I'm going to place the alien further. is usually her bedtime, but I'm still going to press on a little bit. Ready? Back. Good girl! What do we do? Good. Good girl. Drop. Good. Yes. All right, Lisa, come here. opportunity to introduce another new species. Uh, I try to get the dogs used to retrieving any type of animal that we're ever going to train or hunt with. So today we've half thought out a pigeon. So we're going to incorporate that into the force fetch program just like everything else. So hopefully it doesn't drip on my floor, but uh, I tried to pick something that would be easy to do inside. Ready? 
fetch. So she's hesitating, just a little more encouragement. Good. <laughs> just having something with wings is a little different. And you know, this is a dog that hunted a ton this last season, but it's still something different about picking up something out of your hand or on the floor in a controlled environment versus picking up a pheasant that was wounded and running away. And then of course, sitting nicely to deliver. Good girl. Good. All right, here. Stay. You can see that I'm moving a little faster than I did yesterday with the squirrel. With each species, you should still start back at square one to make sure your dog's comfortable with it. But as you can read your dog, you can kind of push them through the process faster and faster. Fetch. Yes, good girl. Good. Good dog. Good. Drop. Thank you. All right, just to do something different, I'm going to kind of do one of those memory marks with her and send her on the back. So we'll leave it here. Yep. Right here to you. Sit. Stay. This way we continue to give her new challenges. We keep pushing forward to make sure she understands that back command. Lisa, are you ready? This is the furthest distance yet that we've done in the house. Ready, Lise? Set. Back. Good girl. Good dog. Good job. Drop. Good. Now, one thing that I like to do uh, after a dog has been retrieving real game for a little bit is sometimes, this is way more exciting, of course, than dummies or antlers, so they might refuse retrieves on something else afterwards. So it's a good idea at this point to swap out for something different and see if she'll still retrieve this or if I'll have to give her some more uh, corrections. So I chose a little bit bigger antler this time, and I just like to mix it up, make sure she's comfortable with different heights, different uh, densities, shapes, sizes, whatever. I don't want to start clear from scratch, but I'll do this one fairly close. Ready? Set. Fetch! Yes! Good girl! That was very nice. I half expected her to just, <clears throat> excuse me, veer off and try to jump up at the TV cabinet. Drop. To try to get the pigeon. We do see that sometimes with dogs. But luckily her foundation's strong enough that she is staying here. So again, we'll do one of those comeback memory marks. Here, you come back. Stay close on your heel. Stay. We'll see how far away I can get. to improve there on getting further and further away. Stay. Turn. Sit. Stay. Of course, I always like to proof and see it if she's learned it. Ready?
quick game of hide and seek. We've got a lot of dog toys around the house that I haven't picked up. So I do like to at least show them this is what we're after. Stay. she's going to search. I'm kind of a half blind. She saw me disappear behind the doorway. But she knows she's got to look and can't come back empty mouthed, right? hard floors because you can hear her progress you can hear that she's still searching and that she hasn't found it and is just you know behaving inappropriately with it so when you're working with your own dogs you need to gauge how much do you trust them don't have them hide in the other room or hide the dummy in the other room for them unless you trust them to pick it up good girl all right I think that's enough for tonight a nice short lesson but I think we already you know made steps forward with the back command so just keep training every single day. I know it's tough. I know I'm tired after being on my feet all day, but you can see how well she responded to it and she improved today since yesterday and that's what we're looking for.